Good morning and welcome to day 27 of 30 Days with Chrissy B. Now I know that 30 Days of November was long gone, but I'm determined I want to finish my 30 days and here it goes. If you're joining us for the first time, welcome. I want to let you know that uh, my hubby and I have just moved to Portland. Uh, we got here last Wednesday night, so it was the 30th of November we moved in technically. Most of our stuff is here. We, we have the place here in Portland and we still own the place in Salem. But what that means is some of our belongings still are in Salem. Uh, the majority of what's in Salem are things that we will not need and will probably be just like packing up and taking to Goodwill. And I am gonna give you a quick tour today, like a rough tour of, of this house. We are still in the process of unpacking. The living room and the bedroom are pretty much generally together, like put together. That is because I am totally OCD. I'm dealing with so much stress at the moment. I really need like a, a comfortable place to relax. And for me right now, that is my living room and our bedroom. So as I give you this tour, just be aware, not everything's unpacked. You'll see that there are a lot of boxes. The last six months, I thought I was doing a really great job downsizing the last six months. But now that we are actually here in this house, I realize I have to downsize harder, which I guess could be seen as sad, but I'm really kind of excited about it. I really want a simpler life. And this house is just so freaking cute that I'm excited to start that new life here in this house. And I'm so in love with Portland and I'm in love with our neighborhood. Um, my biggest things that I've been struggling with, really, and what I'm gonna be struggling with is probably loneliness. Like, I have family here in Portland, and I've had uh, a few of my girlfriends already come and see me, which has been really awesome, but they all have their own lives. They're already established. They already have, like, their own group of friends. And so, my husband and I talked last night, and really, my goal will be to get settled in, clear out all the stuff that we don't want, don't need, don't use, and then really my goal is to find a job that makes me happy and and also pays the bills and also to really like find my tribe, to find my soul sister group. Find my group of women that we can support each other and cheer each other on and make new memories and go out and have adventures together and really give my poor husband a break. God bless America. <laughs> Because right now, it's just he and myself and this Sophie girl. And it's just going to be the three of us for a while. And, uh, yeah, but he's working. So he's, you know, it's been awesome for him because he's only five minutes away from work. So to deal with any kind of emergency that happens, it's really super fast. Uh, he could just pick up and go. Um, me, not so much. But I really do love this house. So right now my job is to get the house put together, get everything unpacked, decide what stays and what goes. My husband does have some say in that, but I don't think he really cares. I think he just wants to have a comfortable place for his butt and a comfortable place to sleep. And he's got both of those things, so he's totally, like, in his mind, we're already done. Um, but yeah, let's get to the tour. It is raining here in Portland today. It's lovely outside. Gorgeous, but rainy. This is the view from my front porch. There's a column that we're going to pass. This is the view from my front porch. We have a very large front porch, which is really nice, but it looks like the ceiling leaks when it rains. So that will have to be fixed. Thankfully, the person who owns this house, we do not own this house, we are renting this house, but the person that owns this house happens to be one of Jason's favorite customers. So they have kind of a deal worked out where the customer will pay for all of the supplies and some of the labor and then Jason will do all the work to fix the house up. So that'll be nice. Right now the porch is being used for storage. Lots of storage, a lot of things that have to go to the recycler. Um, I really would like to see like a patio table and chairs and maybe a really nice bench out here. Jason wants to put a really good lip on this ledge here because it'd be a great place to sit down. It's a really good height for that. And there's two entrances to the porch. There are stairs here that come up this side of the porch. And there are stairs that go down over here. So that's very cool. And we have a path that goes all the way around the whole front yard. And all of the front yard is going to have to be re-landscaped because I don't think anything's really happened to it. Everything's really overgrown. 
and out of control. The good thing is, is that my husband is a contractor, but before he was a contractor, he was a professional landscaper. So I'm excited about that. So this is the front door. It's our front living room window. More of that view from that stuff. This is our bedroom window. And let's go inside. When you walk into the house, hello, Miss Sophie girl. When you walk into the house, you're directly in the living room. Let's close the door. And this is what the living room looks like. It's a little bit dark today because it's gray outside. I did put a little bit of Christmas out. I did that on night one, I had to. Oh my goodness, I need to feel like I have a place to, to cozy up. This is our fireplace. We have been using this every single night. It is the most luxurious thing. We actually took our fireplace out of the condo because it took so much floor space up of the house, but I didn't realize how much use we'd really get out of one until we use this one. And we use it every single night. It's the most beautiful sound. It is absolutely gorgeous. There are hardwood floors all throughout, so that's been really, really nice. Super easy maintenance. Just do some sweeping. Here is my sofa. This was a new sofa. We just found this on Craigslist. I picked up this ottoman at Target. It was on really good sale for Black Friday. This is an old table that we've had for a long time. Almost all the bookcases that you see uh, came from Ikea. And we have lots and lots and lots of books. So television in the corner, a little bit of art. I have a lot of art that I haven't put out yet. There'll be more books. And this is a little chair that I found on Craigslist. Not everything is brand new, but I did want to get a few new pieces just because I knew we needed to downsize the scale of the pieces that we had. Here is hooks by the front door. This is all still a work in progress. I thought about putting a shoe rack there, but because of the heat vent there, I thought it would make the house smell funny because it would be blowing through shoes. However, because we don't wear shoes in the house, uh, they kind of get dropped off there anyway, so I have to come up with some kind of a solution. I just don't want it over the heat register there. Some boxes. Now, right off the living room, so when you first walk in, this is this is the view you see when you first walk in. And if you walk just a little ways to the left, this is our bedroom. And there are French doors here that you have the ability to close off the bedroom. I don't like the bedroom closed off. I really like it open. It makes the room feel like one try Hurricane space because it's really is a really small house. All the light fixtures here are really cool. Um, our girlfriend Ashley was the one who actually created most of these and designed them. So I just love them so much. This wall back here is a dark blue accent wall and it's really, really dark. It almost looks black. I'm thinking about changing it to a little bit of a brighter blue so you can tell that it's blue. There's some artwork. Our nightstands that we had previously created do not fit, so I'm using these, I think these are called Ascog carts, Rascog carts, they're from Ikea. I have five of those in our in my hot little hands. I usually use them in my art studio, so I borrowed two of them, and we're using them as nightstands. There's a black headboard back there that I'm gonna refinish. Jason and I built that, and I'm gonna actually recover it because I want it to be beige. I just wanna be lighter. My little twinkle lights went up on night number one. I really wanted those up. Bed was made on day one as well, completely and totally. We have a new bed skirt down there. It's super duper wrinkly, but the one that we had for probably the past 10 years actually got ripped and route. So I wanted to get a new one. And because we were getting that, Jason thought he would surprise me with these awesome flannel Christmas sheets. Aren't they just so adorable? I love them so much. And he picked these up at Target. So that was really cool. Now Jason has a little bitty little closet over there that's gonna get completely redone. He does not hang things. He likes to put everything folded on shelves, so that will be a shelf closet, and then there'll be a curtain in front of that to hide a that a little bit. So that is a hallway. I'll show you that in a minute. It's full of boxes at the moment. But you come back into the living room, and then past the living room is our dining room, and then even past that, back there is our kitchen. Right now, this is where most of our boxes are. It's kind of our staging space. I picked up this area rug at Target, and it actually takes up the whole room, which was really nice. Right now, it's hard to see because there's boxes everywhere. 
I have a bookshelf here. I think my decorating books and cookbooks will go on this bookshelf. There's a house plant. I have friends bringing over wine. Thank you very much, friends. I love you bunches. Um, two of my absolute favorite lamps. I actually found these at a vintage store a long, long time ago and then got some new um, lampshades from Target for them. Most of these boxes are books. There's a lot of kitchen in there. Most of my closet stuff is here. And then here's miscellaneous art that hasn't been unwrapped yet. Here's more books, closet, blankets, bedding. Now in this house we really don't have a linen closet to speak of and we don't have a pantry which is both of those things we had in the old place. So that is going to be a little bit of adjustment. I think what that means for us is that a lot of that is going to go away. We just won't have as much on hand as we used to. This is my mama's dresser. It's one of my absolute must-haves. You know my husband and I play a game with each other that if we could only pick 10 things to keep in the house, like if we had a fire or something and we got to choose the 10 things that had to be saved besides, you know, us and the puppy, what would we save? This is always number one on the list, is my mama's dresser. My dad's dad refinished it when I was like four years old, and apparently I got to help refinish this side, and I did some little brush strokes with my four-year-old self. So yeah. And then this is just right now it's being used for storage. It's a cubicle bookshelf. This was actually, I believe, a Target find a long time ago. This whole little setup right here used to be in my walk-in closet. It doesn't We don't have a walk-in closet now. We're kind of making do. So I think that the storage function of this, instead of being closed, it's going to be like games and table linens and that kind of stuff. And this might become like our extra linen closet is what this little thing will be. And then this will have like family mementos and pictures and maybe some special things on it. Right now it's being used for storage for all of like the tools and plugins and all the like utilitarian stuff that we're using to fix different things up in the house. We're also keeping our mail here, a couple extra candles. And then up above, this is something Jason and I've wanted to do for a really long time. Actually, I've wanted to do it for a really long time, and Jason's kind of like, okay, sounds cool. I have the, the Clinique advent calendar that came out this year, and my hubby has the Lint Truffles calendar that came out this year. So we are technically, today is day five, and it's kind of funny because every day it's, we get up first thing in the morning and say, oh my gosh, let's go to our advent calendar, and Jason gets to have a piece of chocolate every morning, and I get to have a new beauty supply of some sort. Um, so far, I keep them all here so I don't lose them. So I've gotten a moisturizer, a foaming cleanser mousse here. This is a chubby stick. It's not the best color, but it feels amazing. So I'm really in love with that. This is my absolute favorite Clinique um, mascara and it's the High Impact Mascara. I love that mascara so much. And then a new lipstick and this lipstick color is Blushing Nude. Really nice for mixing with other colors. So I really like the little samples. One, because I get to try new things, and two, because I really like having samples that I could just toss in my bag and take with me. So moving on, and of course Jason eats his candy right away, so there's no, there's no like evidence that those have even existed, but he just absolutely adores them. So moving on, here's our kitchen some storage up on top of the fridge. This fridge is identical to the fridge that we had in Salem, except ours was white and theirs is black, so that's kind of cool. So this is what the kitchen looks like. It's very small. Out of all of the rooms in this house, this is the one that really has been the most untouched. Most of our food, we just started cooking here last night. Most of our food has been, uh, we've been walking over to New Seasons, at, which is a really nice grocery store here, and just picking up some salad. So well, that's been good. My eating has been terrible. I've completely um, let my new eating plan go completely by the wayside. So we got lots of fruits and veg last night so we can get that started again today. Lots of stuff to put away. The cabinets are really, really, really small so I'm not sure where things live yet. Like this, these cabinets are just so weird. Yeah, so like the shelves are not the same size. Even the cabinet doors, this one's really small and this one's bigger. I don't understand how that works. I think it's just all old 
cabinetry, which is fine, but we have a microwave here, which we did not have in the old house. We generally don't use microwaves. You know, we did a little bit of research into how microwaving your food affects the nutrition, the nutrition of your food. And so we just kind of like let ours go by the wayside and we just never used it. So we have that there, but it's really, really, really high. So I'm a pretty tall girl and that's still a really tall, tall microwave. We have, right now we have a glass top range. However, um, the owners who love us, let me just tell you, uh, they love Jason. In all honesty, it's Jason's, one of Jason's favorite customers. Uh, they have purchased a gas stove, a gas range for us here. So I'm really excited about that. It's a six burner gas range. I cannot wait for that to get here. Oh, that makes me excited. Lots of cabinets. And I think my favorite feature in the kitchen is the farm sink. It's really nice and big, deep, love it, love, love, love it. And then my view out the window, there's a fire pit out back. That's my art studio over there. It's a whole different building. And then over here is a shed and a garage. Those are actually being torn down. Long story, I'll tell you all about it when we get a little bit closer to it. We have completely different plans for that area. And there's my fire pit. I will get to enjoy that for about six months until we have to move it. So I hear that the last renter here used to have like a soul sister circle that would come and they would do like once a month ceremonies out by the fire and hang out and have fun and giggle and laugh. And I'm hoping to be able to do something like that. I think that'd be really cool. But again, we need a lot of landscaping done. Even trying to walk to the art studio is a little bit of a, a stretch because there's trees and bushes growing through the path. So, but I'll show you that another day because I don't have a key to that today. So back to the dining room, we're going to take a peek at the hallway. So there is the bedroom down there. And I guess I didn't show you this, but this is our movie collection. It's part of our movie collection. We have a lot of movies. When I need to re-energize, my favorite thing in the world to do is to come home and either snuggle down and watch movies or snuggle down and read. So those were the two things I made sure were set up right away. We have a very small linen closet here. It's very small, very old, very not glam, but this is going to be refinished. This and the bathroom are going to be, both be refinished. So just a small bathroom. I love, 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 love the counter. And it's got like plumbing pipe. Don't mind the cord, that's my flat iron. But the sink is so awesome. And there is a skylight here. I guess there was a skylight in the other room too. There's a ledge here to do something with. I have no idea what yet. There is this cutout here for storage. I want to measure those and have probably drawers of some sort made that they'll slide all the way out and slide all the way back in so we can use every nook and cranny in here because storage is really at a premium. We have shelving behind the door. Again, I don't really want to see all of this stuff. It's, you know, it's all important. It's all utilitarian. It's all stuff that we need to have access to. But I, again, want to measure all of the spaces and the, the shelves that will not have towels and whatnot on it. I want to have like cubbies so that all of this stuff is hidden. Like God bless America. Nobody needs to know that I use super plus Kotex tampons. Like, does anyone need to know that? Do you need to know how many rolls of toilet paper I have available? No, I don't think so. So I want to find storage for that. And I guess I didn't tell you this. I realized I'm the world's worst tour person apparently, but in the kitchen, this is my favorite feature of the kitchen, is a huge skylight. So no matter what is going on weather-wise outside, it is always nice and bright and shiny in here. So I love, love, love that. So back to the hallway again. Last room on the main floor. This room is, I believe this should be like a guest room, but this is not what we're using it for. I had an awesome walk-in closet that my husband built for me in the old place. I do not have that here. So with my husband's approval, there was this closet already in place and it's got pre-built in shelves and whatnot. 
It's got some shelves, some hanging space. La 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 la. Not a lot's been done in here yet. It has curtains in front of it. And I'm using, I'm actually using part of the room as ex an extension of this closet. So I have our hanging cart at the moment, which probably won't stay here. I think this is gonna go into the basement where the laundry room is at. And then I have a cubicle bookshelf behind that I will use for storage. So this part of the room is going to be like a walk-in closet. And there's a nice window right there to the backyard. And then this side of the room, this side of the room is our library. And we have quite a large collection of books. So here are those. These were the shelves that were in my bedroom previously. My husband cut them down to fit in this space. And the reason this little configuration works is because of this bookcase right here. So this side of the bookcase will have books. There are some movies here as well. Um, but these will be the nonfiction books will fit onto this side of the bookcase. We have a little bit more room down at the bottom of these two tall bookcases for some more fiction books. On the top here will be some vintage collectible books, as well as up here will be some vintage collectible books. That'll be nice. And then all the books that are actually out right now are the fiction. We have a huge collection of fiction books. And the thing is, is that I've already downsized our book collection quite a lot. I thought I was doing an amazing job because it was so hard to get rid of them, but apparently I'm gonna have to do more because for all of the, the nonfiction book selection, we have the bottom shelf of two here, and then I have this space here. So if they don't fit, then I have to get rid of more. So we shall see. I already have a few that I've already pulled out to get rid of. And then I have some extra movies because they didn't all fit on the shelf. I'll downsize those a little bit as well. But this is the family. I have my movies sorted by genre, sort of. So we do that because when the nieces and nephews come over, we basically say you could pick anything out of the family friendly slash cartoon section and they can watch whatever they want and we don't screen it. We don't filter it. We don't make them choose something different. We just kind of give them free reign to choose whatever they want. Okay, so there is a basement with a laundry room and soon to be man cave, which it's really not put together at all. So we'll do that tour on another day. We also have the art studio, which I kind of poked at in the back behind the house. I do not have a key to that. My husband left in a hurry this morning and I forgot to grab it for him from him. So there's really not much to see. So I will do that in the party patio, which is, that's what I'm calling it. It's a patio outside with some awesome lights. I'm calling that the party patio. I will do that tour another day. Whew. And not only that, but the art studio, all of my art furniture is still in Salem. So it's not here yet. It probably will get here this weekend. Um, we are going to be going back to Salem every Friday slash Saturday to get caught up on some projects. We are working on tearing out old flooring out of the downstairs area and then we want to redo all of the flooring downstairs with hardwood. So we have quite a few remodeling projects that are going to be going on in that house. So we will be there probably every weekend and then we'll go come home Saturday night and then hang out and kind of veg as fast as we possibly can on Sunday so that way we can um, get back to our work week. So I hope that you enjoyed that tour. I apologize if it was really kind of like ADD, but welcome to my world. Uh, yeah, there will be more to come. There's so many different routines happening here and I really wanna give you like a tour of our neighborhood and let you know kinda how it is rolling now that we're here. I think that it's gonna be a really good change. I'm really excited. This, this change has been really, really hard but I'm really excited for the possibility of, of what's to come. So until next time, bye for now.